This short video is about uh, cross tabulations in bar chart. So it's about the visualization of categorical variables. Uh, as you may remember, a categorical variable is a variable that express some kind of a quality that we can count. For example, mm, the hair color or a brand of a PC or gender, those are categorical variables, including different levels or different groups. For example, gender in, is a categorical, also called nominal variable, including two levels or two groups, male and female. Um, a, a hair color uh, is a polynomial uh, categorical variable because includes more than two uh, categories or levels. Now, a cross tabulation is a table in which we cross tabulate the levels of, of one categorical variable, variable against the levels of a second categorical variable. And cross tabulation can be tremendously useful in summarizing data. But as uh, you will see, uh, cross tabulations can be useful as a means toward an end, and then is to explore uh, patterns of relationship between pairs of categorical variables. And let me show you <coughs> an example of a cross tabulation. And in this, uh, this is a, a two by three uh, cross tabulation uh, because it's, uh, it has two rows and three columns. And we are cross-tabulating <clears throat> the levels of two categorical variables, one being gender, uh, and the other one is the level of uh, self-reported self delinquency. So we have three uh, categories or three levels uh, featuring the level of self-reported delinquency variable, and two levels, uh, males and females, for the gender. <clears throat> so this table, this cross-tabulation, also called a uh, contingency table, is a two by three cross-tabulation. So uh, we are cross-tabulating the gender against the levels of uh, self-reported delinquency. Mm, the table grand total is 1,272. And we are counting, we are uh, cross-tabulating uh, how many females fall in the low level of self-reported delinquency category, how many females fall in the medium category, how many females uh, fall in the high level of self-reported delinquency category, and the same applies to the male. Uh, of course, in any cross tabulation, we have a grand total, which indicates or which correspond to our overall sample size. And then we have uh, row totals, uh, so, for example, 680 is the row total of females. So it's in, in the row total, uh, it indicates, in this case, uh, the, num the overall number of females disregarding the level of self-reported delinquency. And the same applies to males, 592. Uh, this is the row total for males. So disregarding uh, the, the distinction by level of self-reported delinquency. And symmetrically, uh, the same holds true for the column uh, totals. 450 <clears throat> is the column total for the low level of self-reported delinquency, therefore disregarding gender. And the same applies to the other uh, columns total. <coughs> now, uh, as I said, Cross-tabulation can be a useful tool that we can employ to summarize our data and to cross-tabulate the levels of uh, one categorical variable against the levels of a second categorical variable. But you can think of cross-tabulations as a, a heuristic tool, as a way of assessing, uh, once we have reward our counts, uh, a way of assessing if there is some kind of relationship between one variable and another. And we can, of course, we can rework, we can reshape our cross tabulation in a way that our cross tabulation becomes more telling when it comes to the relationship between those two variables. And we can use our reward table, 
our reward cross tabulation as a basis for a visualization using uh, bar, uh, bar charts. But I will show you this in uh, another video. And uh, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, compare uh, numbers, counts to one another. For example, we uh, might want to understand if there is a relationship between gender and, and level of self-reported delinquency. We uh, might wonder, uh, do females uh, uh, have a tendency to uh, fall in either of those uh, categories, low, medium, or uh, high? And the same applies to, to males. Uh, do males uh, have a tendency to fall uh, um, more frequently in uh, either of those categories, low, medium, and high. So how can we approach this issue? How can we tackle uh, or address this research question? And how can we visually represent this sort of relationship between any of the gender and any of the level of self-reported delinquency? So we have uh, to uh, take a preliminary step between, uh, before we can visually represent this data. We have to make those counts comparable to one another. We cannot um, compare 275 to 175. We cannot compare 182 to 166, et cetera, for the simple fact that they come from two different totals. So, as an intervening step before being able to visually represent this data, we have to turn those counts into, in this case, raw percentages. Once we have standardized our data uh, using, in this case, raw percentages, we are in a position to compare uh, uh, those percentages to one another. And so in this case, we have used raw percentages. We have turned our counts into percentages row-wise. So, uh, of course, each row uh, adds, up, uh, adds up to 100%. Um, uh, so, in this case, we can compare uh, um, the proportion of males and females falling in each category of self-reported delinquency. So we can see that there, are, uh, there is a larger proportion of females in the low level of self-reported delinquency compared to males. 40.4% versus almost 30%. If we go uh, to the high end of the scale, let's have a look at the high uh, category of level of self-reported delinquency. We can see that the situation is the opposite we have uh, almost 33% the proportion of females and 42% uh, the proportion of males. So we can see that in the high category of self-reported delinquency, there is a, a larger proportion of males compared to females. Now let's have a look at the medium category. We can see that the proportion of females and the proportion of males falling in that category uh, the propor those proportions are not uh, uh, dramatic dramatically far from one another. We have almost 27% versus 28%. So this is an example of how we can uh, rework or reshape our cross tabulation so that we can start exploring from a numerical point of view if there is, let's say, a sort of relationship between uh, the levels of those two categorical variables. In this case, if there is any kind of relationship between the levels of the gender and the levels of the level of self-reported delinquency. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will show you how we can use this reshape cross tabulation as a basis to uh, visually represent, represent the, those proportions.